what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today I decided to film a lip liner MAC lip liner collection video for you guys I made that MAC lipstick collection and it went really well and everybody seemed to really love just being able to compare all of the different lipsticks together so I thought I would do the same with the lip liners because I'm even more of a lip liner junkie than I am lipstick um, I incorporated all of my lip liners that I have from MAC into this video and I don't really have any other pencils other than my MAC ones. I have a handful of Makeup Forever Aqua Lips which are the waterproof lip liners which I absolutely love too and I can totally make a video on that if you are totally sick of seeing MAC from me because I just have so much MAC. But yeah, I incorporated all of the lip liners, the limited ones and the permanent ones obviously. And I, you know, I think that these videos are awesome. I love watching these videos, so I wanted to make another one for you. And yeah, leave me a comment down below if you like this kind of video. And I did this one a little bit differently, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. I also wanted to mention that I do have a blog, and it's www graytracy.com and I will have a full like picture blog post of all of the lip liners um, that I'm showing you in this video today so definitely check that out if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye so the first lip pencil that I have is beret and this one is a cream stick liner by Mac so this is the only cream stick liner that I have by Mac but I love the formulation of this it's really really smooth especially if you use the lip primer before and it has really great lasting power I love this color I think this color is totally overlooked by Mac but it's one of the best ones and then I also only have one pro longwear lip pencil by Mac which is crazy because I absolutely love the pro longwear pencils but this one isn't absolutely it and is the perfect lip liner color. The next lip pencil that I have is Subculture and this one is my favorite nude ever. Ever. Um, this one is just my jam. It's my everyday neutral perfection lip liner. So here is Subculture. The next lip pencil that I have for you is Boldly Bare, and this is also a nude lip pencil, and it is more of a peachy pink nude. So this will be the third of six nudes that I have to show you guys, but this one is stripped down, and this one's a little bit different because it is just everybody's favorite. I wouldn't say that this is my favorite lip liner on myself. I definitely love subculture, but this one is really, really beautiful, and it is kind of one of those cult classic lip liners from MAC. So here is Strip Down. Next lip pencil is Oak, and this is definitely more of an oak shade nude. So this one is Oak. I literally think I might have an obsession with not only MAC lip pencils, but just nude ones in general. This one is Spice, and this is also one of my favorite lip liners ever. This is one of those liners that even if you wear it with another lipstick or just any color, and you just kind of trace out your mouth, it gives you like a really nice contour and can make your lips just look a little bit different, a little bit bigger. So this is Spice, and this one's amazing. The last nudish type neutral color that I have is cork and this one is definitely a darker nude and is really really beautiful on darker skin tones. So to start off the pinks I am going to show you guys edge to edge and this is a newer lip pencil for MAC. It is part of, it came out with their penciled in line which actually became permanent with MAC. So I have a couple of those colors that are in my collection and this is the lighter pink one. So this one was actually made to pair perfectly with pink 
plaid matte lipstick by MAC so if you have that color this is the perfect lip liner for pink plaid the next pink that I have is the most talked about pink ever it seems like from MAC and this is sore lip line this is just the prettiest dark mauve um, lip pencil So the next color I'm showing you guys is Whirl by MAC and this one is definitely a bit more of that mauve pink color but still it's like more of like a gray tone pink. It's definitely got the mauve in there. The next lip pencil shade that I have is Embrace Me and this is a limited lip liner but I thought I would include it anyways just because it is from MAC and I do love it. The next one that I'm going to show you is very very close to it so don't worry if you can't get your hands on this but this was in the fashion sets, fashion sets about two years ago with MAC and this is Embrace Me. again it's just like embrace me um, but this one is talking points and this one is permanent this also came out with the penciled in collection with edge to edge and thank god they came out with that penciled in release because they were missing so many colors from their line that it was it was just about time that they added new colors so this being one of them they didn't have just a regular pencil that was hot pink and like went perfect with like candy yum yum like they have one for candy yum yum which matches perfectly and I think that this one goes with pink pigeon if I'm not mistaken I think it's pink pigeon but it matches like spot on so um, this is talking points next I have half red and this is another one of my favorite colors just because it's one of those odd ones that I think gets looked over a little bit and it's not red it's not plum it's like a dusty red pink and it's just really beautiful and um, surprisingly looks gorgeous with nudes so I'll show you half red Moving into more corally and red shades, the first one I'm going to show you is a blaze. This one is definitely a pinky coral color and this one was also limited and it was in the same um, collection as Embrace Me. So this one also has a matching lipstick and that lipstick is in my MAC lipstick haul if you'd like to compare the two. The next lip liner I am showing you is Ruby Woo, and this one matches, I wouldn't say it matches perfectly to the Ruby Woo lipstick just because that one is just, it's, it, it's its own thing. I feel like this one might have a little bit more pink or blue in it, something, but this also came in the pencil dit and this is also permanent. This is Ruby Woo. Okay, so the next lip liner is my Pride and Joy lip liner. This is the first lip liner I ever bought from MAC. Well, this is the second one, but the first lip liner I ever bought from MAC, and this kind of started the madness. So this is Brick lip liner, and the first red lipstick I ever bought was Russian Red, and I was told that I needed a lip liner, and I was like, oh, I don't think so. But then the girl that helped me showed me how to line my lips and I was like mm, I need that so this is brick lip liner and this is my baby my babe my baby's baby so brick the next lip pencil I'm going to show you guys I also adore to the fullest this is a burgundy lip pencil and I have just worn this by itself so many times that it's like hard for me not to be in love with it it's so beautiful but I definitely think it's more of a winter fall lip liner but nonetheless I love burgundy this lip liner is 
heroin and this one is supposed to be an exact match for the heroin lipstick by MAC. This also came out in the penciled in collection. It also came out with the fashion sets a couple years ago and they will not release it permanently. So this is technically a limited edition item. If you are lucky, your store might still have it from the penciled in. And I will tell you that this is a little bit lighter than the lipstick and it is a little bit more pink. It is not a dead match. I have Beat next, and I wasn't sure whether to put this in the purple section or the pink section, so I just put it in my purples section, um, but this one is like a purpley pink lip pencil. So I only have two lip pencils left and the second to last is Current, and this one is a really deep purple. The last one, the um, beat was a little bit more pink than I remembered. I haven't worn that one in a really long time. I thought it was more purple than that, but it's definitely more of like a hot pink. So this one's definitely going to be more of like a deep purple. So the final MAC lip pencil that I have to show you guys is Night Moth. This is the darkest lip pencil that they have on the counter on the shelf right now um, other than maybe be spoken for which is a pro long wear lip pencil I don't know which one is darker but this one gets super dark I'm actually kind of shocked because when I did my lip stick collection my lips are on fire like I couldn't even feel them for like the next two days and my lips are surprisingly doing really well right now so I mean I definitely don't have as many lip liners as I do lipsticks but still they're feeling pretty good so let me just show you Night Moth. So that is my lip pencil collection. I am feeling great, thank God. At least my lips like aren't killing me like they were. Like they're very tender right now, but they were killing me after my lipstick collection. It's in large part to the MAC Prep and Prime lip. This stuff not only just helped I think but anytime that I'm doing my lipstick or a client's lipstick and I don't put that on before I always notice that nothing glides on nearly as well the whole purpose of the lip primer is to keep it on longer and to help it from bleeding if you're wearing something that tends to bleed or you have little um like little wrinkles around your lips that's the sole purpose of it to kind of like block it in so you want to put it a little bit over your lip line so that it acts as a buffer and it keeps your lipstick lasting longer and I hope you guys enjoyed my video and like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video bye